You're watching Channels Television. We're celebrating 21 years of professional broadcasting. Time to go to our new studio now. Lumide Makoli is standing by for the news headlines. Lumide, good Hello, to see you again. Yeah. Hello, Tayo. Mm. Good morning to our viewers. Mm. Mm. So the NPFL, right? Yes. And the range is about to... Make history. Make history. Big one. I mean, uh, they need one point, you know, on their in their last game against Elkanen and Warriors. I mean, mm. do you think they can do it, or do you think the pressure is going to get to them and they'll bottle it? Well, going by what I've seen and heard, they have all the motivation that they need. Okay. That's right. We'll see. Welcome to Headline News. We begin with Edo State Politics. The candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, has been declared winner of the Edo governorship election. According to the INEC returning officer, Professor Kayode Shere Mekun, who declared final results at the Commission's headquarters in Benin City, Mr. Basaki scored 319,483 votes to beat his closest rival and candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Mr. Osage Izeyamu, who polled 253,173 votes. Meanwhile, the All Progressives Congress, the APC, has described the rejection of the state governorship election resolved by the PDP as, quote, an act of a bad loser. Chairman of the Edo State APC chapter, Mr. Asim Ojezua, says that the entire process of the election has been described as peaceful. Meanwhile, the police in Edo State have announced the ban of all forms of procession, rallies, or demonstrations in the state. In a statement by the Assistant Inspector General of Police, Zone 5 headquarters in Benin City, Mr. Isaac Eke, the police explained that they've information that some people are planning to carry out illegal processions and rallies. And on the foreign scene, the Indian Army is carrying out a surgical strike against suspected militants along the de facto border it shares with Pakistan in Kashmir. A senior army official says the operation was aimed at preventing attacks being planned by Pakistan-based militants. You can find details of those stories and more at our website, channelstv.com. Back to you guys. Thank you so much, Illumine Macaulay, for the news headlines. Let's get on with the show now. So much to talk about. And I'm sure our football fans in Nigeria are looking forward to that crucial game between Nigeria and Zambia. Talking about the 2018 FIFA World Cup qualifiers. Tyler, out. Tyler, don't, don't tell me let the best team win. What's your no, confidence of course, level of course uh, not. in that game between Nigeria and Zambia? Yeah, um... Um, Austin, it's going to be very difficult. I mean, we're going away, you know, to Ndola to play Zambia. Mm. These guys are motivated as well, so they want to qualify for the World Cup. Mm. Uh, the Spigos are a better side. We've got the better players. Um, yeah, but it doesn't mean it's going to be a gimme. It doesn't mean mm -hmm. it's going to be a stroll in the path for Nigeria. That's right. That's right. So uh, we'll wait and see. No, we're not waiting. Uh, I, I, just, I mean, because they're still... I want to know what you think. Still, I'll come back and tell New you how my confidence level. Advisor. There's still a bit of time you between will be now. Fire. You're not on fire. Moses Simon playing well. Yes. Mikel Obi yes. charging out. Let's not get um, ahead of ourselves too much. Like I said, Austin, there's still about you know nine New days. Nigeria pizza. There's, yeah. there's about a nine. There's about nine days to go to the uh, match. Yeah. So I'll, I'll give it to about two days to the game before, you before I now yeah give my verdict because I need to see uh, mm. what kind of form these players are going to carry on into the game in this week that is coming hopefully no injuries because that can actually you know disrupt the the game plan of the manager as well so, so i'll wait till you, you don't believe in the quality of this that's not the issue i'll wait until a couple of days before I just, I don't know. yeah but are you confident that they can beat Zambia? Yeah, but it's, why not the zambians are very beatable they're yeah. not they're not special side by any uh enemy but do you have worries in this super ego team yeah I still need. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the only worry you can probably say is it's a new um, technical advisor. Yeah. He hasn't been with the team for long. He's only mm. managed one game, so perhaps he doesn't really uh, know uh, this player well enough. That might just be the only worry. But mm. the, the, the most important ingredient is uh, we have the playing personnel That's to right. defeat Zambia. That's not mm. too worries about mm. it. We have the personnel. Yeah. I believe we've got a quality. Yeah, of course. But you just can't say we, yeah, that's what whether I said. or not we can yeah, beat Zambia. A couple of days before, like I said, hopefully there are no injuries. Mm. I need to know, you know have a picture of you know 
what a starting eleven is likely to be, you know, mm. before I can, you know, give a verdict on that. No. Yeah, no. So we'll wait. A couple of days. But you can command oh, right. Brazil to play Zambia. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm just asking. Because Stan, I'm just trying to, you know, yes. do to you what the regular football fan out there, those are, those are the thoughts, I mean, the the you know, yeah, going, yeah. going through his mind. Uh, regular mind, football fans, know. they just want to get the win. I mean, the mm. disappointments of not qualifying for the AFCON is still, right. you know, fresh in the memory. So they don't care. Just go there, get the three points, start on a winning note. It's very important when you do a round robin, you know, um, competition. That's start right. on a winning note, so, you agree. know, agree. and it can build on that. Mm. So, yeah. My colleague Ty have been all okay careful as regards to that yes. game. But uh, NFFS Vice President Sheya Kiwumi, uh, Olympics gold medalist Dosu Joseph, and of course, for Ty Amao, they are confident that the Super Eagles can go to Ndola and beat Zambia. Let's listen to them. When we come back, Chief Coach of the Super Eagles of Nigeria, Sally Suyusu, will be sitting down here. It's all about the Super Eagles watch. Don't go anywhere. Stay. Well, it, it will be our first game for the Super Eagles and uh, in, in, in a competitive one. Uh, Nigerians are looking towards the game and I believe we have the players. Most of our players are playing for their clubs week in, week out and they're also scoring goals. But I believe we have opportunity of beating them there because of what we have as, uh, at hand now. All I can say is I wish those boys the very best of luck. Uh, to me, it's open. Open in the sense that we can win. We have the players who can win for us there. But what about their frame of mind are they psychologically ready uh what is the fa also doing by making sure every stone is turned no stone should be left unturned but we have the capability and the capacity when it comes to the players but that's not all about the game you must get uh, a very conducive you know uh, environment situation where the players what they think about it's just to go there and do well. Um, you've seen the players that we have. Um, you, you've seen the way they have played recently. I honestly do believe that we have a capability. You know, we've uh, gradually over the past few years, we have lowered the age of the Super Eagles. Super Eagles is that uh, the football is a young man's game. You know, people can keep going but have the talent. We've some, seen some of our players playing the Champions League recently. I don't see why we cannot do it. I believe we will. Um, the other day I spoke with a coach and I was astounded at the grasp of Nigerian football that he had. Um, and we saw uh, the match against Tanzania. There's no reason why we shouldn't be able to do it over there.